I'm weird, I'm crazy, I'm psycho, everything. Welcome back to Industries TV. And today, we're going to be talking about a YouTuber by the name of Diamond Flawless. Now, before we get into this video, make sure y'all smash that like button. And if y'all not subscribed to this channel, make sure y'all subscribe with post notifications turned on. Now, if y'all don't know the history behind Diamond Flawless, she used to date a YouTuber by the name of King Sid about two years ago. Now, when they broke up, Diamond Flawless had a mental breakdown all over social media. Have the medication. Stop calling me because I'm going to turn off my phone because you are. Estás, mo estás molestando. Molestando, which means annoying. Mount Sinai and um, by Found Blue. That is where they locked me up, and that documentary will come out when I'm ready to film it. You guys got me in Dade County. You try to get me in Broward, but you can't get me in the county that I'm at. Now, after having a mental breakdown all over social media, Diamond Flawless disappeared for at least a year without uploading on her YouTube channel. She just was doing brand deals for Fashion Nova and Pretty Little Thing, and then she popped up on Dr. Phil. Now after all that, she went back to her ex-boyfriend before King said, named Stunner. Now they was going strong for a year. They was taking trips. They got each other names tattooed on them. She was glowing all over her Instagram. Her body was getting right. And it just seemed like her mental state was at a great space. But these past few days after them breaking up, it seems like she's slipping back into that mental state of depression. I, I, I wasted my time. I almost lost um, time with my family because it was Thanksgiving day. And I'm just like, I really should have just pimped because like he gave me all his jewelry i put it right back i put all the money and i left the money like bro he did everything and i just left everything where it was at because like that boy i loved him to death but i was like oh hell no whatever i did love him i was like so sad like she is not it at all oh jesus please save her before she goes because she i don't know what's going on with her she's crazy she's crazy as hell these baby mamas be crazy like what has happened to me there is too traumatizing you get it like too traumatizing way too traumatizing like people gonna need therapy about that but i don't need therapy because after i went to the mental hospital for a year i mean for oh, hell no after i went to the mental hospital for a month i would never look back yes i'm weird i'm very weird very much that i'm weird i'm crazy i'm psycho everything all of it believe it best believe it scream it get it tatted diamond is weird please do it please do it i will repost you and you will go viral now this is some of the stuff that she did in her first breakup with king Sid, going on live for hours talking about the situation and not only talking about the situation it's the way she talking about it and what she's bringing up her movements, the way she acting. I just hope she not slipping back into that mindset. When I, was in, bro, when I was in mental hospital, ain't nobody sent me crap besides Hari. That was the only person that sent me something. A Lilo and Stitch, a card, a flowers. And the people came up to me, they're like, this boy loves you. And I'm like, wow. I have a million subscribers and nobody loves me. Now that y'all seen that and heard that, scroll down to that comment section. Tell me what y'all think about this whole situation. I just hope she not slipping back into that mindset of depression. I just think she just need to be single for a minute. Get her bag, stack her bread up, do her fashion over, and just live her best life. So with that being said, make sure y'all smash that like button. And if y'all not subscribed to this channel, make sure y'all subscribe with post notifications turned on.